Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Okay, so hopefully everybody can hear me all right. Uh, sorry, there's a little bit of an echo because it was playing on my phone. Um, okay, so in honor of Eclipse Day 2024, we are playing Shadow of the Tomb Raider, which is one of my favorite games of all time. Just because it's, number one, it's a Tomb Raider game. And that is the series that got me into gaming. And number two, just because it was a really good game. I really enjoyed it. Uh, okay, so let me make sure everything looks okay. Let's go ahead and get the game going. Uh, I just want to say welcome back, everybody. And also, I want to just apologize again. Oh my god, David's here! David's here! Hey, David, I'm so glad you're here. Uh, oh, it's asking me if we want to allow GeForce to automatically capture highlights. I'm gonna say no, because I'm streaming this. Um, okay, so I have been kind of absent from the channel for a while. Uh, David, let me know if you can hear me okay. If you don't care, just to let me know, like, if everything sounds okay. Uh, I'm not getting any audio. So that's interesting. I think it's because on Streamlabs, I don't have it set to the right headset. That, that should work better now, I would think. Uh, that should work. Let's go into our settings. I'll be sad if I can't hear anything. Um, I've been absent from the channel for a little bit. And the reason just being that I've had some personal stuff going on in life. And I just have needed some time to get my head back in the right place. So that's what we have going on there. Why can I not hear anything? Is my headset on? Let's find out. That turned it off, I think. Oh, wait, no, that must have turned it on. Is the audio fully up? Um, audio and languages. Music volume. Hold on. Let me, let me mess with this again. Yay, Taylor's here. What's up, Taylor? Uh, let's, let's just try. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna start a new game, but I can't hear anything. That is what's weird to me. Hold on, um, hold on. There's something that we gotta do. We gotta set, we gotta make sure everything's set up right. And I keep hitting the wrong button. Uh, Taylor, yes, we're doing Tomb Raider. I'm excited. I'm very excited. So I have the I have the right thing set up. But I'm not hearing any audio. I cannot figure out why. Let's uh let's try something. Let's go into one of my streams and see if I can hear anything from it. Or one of my videos or something. What is going on, everybody? That's so that's loud, so we can hear that. So that's good. Okay, so this means it's in it's we gotta figure it out. Okay. Um, okay, so I have played this game many times, and I think what I want to do is I think we'll just, let's do, um, okay, we're going to do easy mode because I'm a grown woman and I've already beat this game many times, but I want you guys to enjoy the story. Um, but yeah, like I was saying earlier, essentially, I just needed some time to kind of process some things that were happening in my life, like going back to full, not full time, but I'm slowly getting back into full time work. Um, possibly I'm going to be full time again soon, but just taking on more hours and then have had some stuff going on in my family. That's kind of like personal that just required me to just be distracted <laughs> as much as possible and i don't know about you guys but when i'm having a hard time mentally it is so hard for me to do the things that i normally love to do 
like just my hobbies take a back seat. Taylor, you said all good. And David, you said you have a son, not in real life. Oh, in what life do you have a son? Also, the game is going to start. Hopefully, we don't get copyrighted for this game, but it's a really good one. I think you guys are going to enjoy it. There's Eclipse themes in this game, and that's why we're playing it today. Tell me if it's way too loud, because it seems like it's really loud. Let's turn that down. There's also adult language, so I do apologize. David, you don't want to say? Okay. That's fine, I suppose. Well, congratulations, David, on being a dad. I'm proud of you, I think. I know! I know! This is Laura, and that's her friend, Jonas. You're gonna hear his name a lot in this game. There's language, I forgot! <laughs> Sorry, guys. Sorry. <laughs> it gets better. It's not this bad the entire time. It's just because they're crashing a plane right now. Come on. Come on, Lara. Get it buckled. Safety first. By the way, Lara Croft is like probably, uh, my first ever I don't know how to put it like Jonah, character that I looked up to uh David you can tell me his name tell me what's his name also Taylor how are you doing are you at work right now or are you home I want to know there might be some uh flashes in this game so just be aware if you're photosensitive <laughs> I don't think it's too bad, but it might be a thing. Jonah, um, his name is Eclipse? That's a... Oh my gosh, do you mean... A rock in my leg. Oh my gosh, do you mean you have a son? Like the son? Okay. Okay, so we're kind of talking over this cutscene, but essentially we're cutting back to what happened two days before the crash. Uh... Taylor, you said you're off today and your headache is better? I'm so glad to hear that. I'm glad to hear that. Oh, okay. We gotta, um... So we're stuck in a cave. And we're following a secret group called Trinity. And Trinity has been, um... Basically an adversarial group to Lara. And they're also the group responsible for her father's death. Oh, so she's, like, cutting this rock off of her leg. She's insane now. You don't mean the sun, David? That's funny. <laughs> well, then I don't understand. Let's get out of this cave, Lara. Let's go. Okay, so we gotta crawl out. We're stuck in this very tight cave. I don't know if I would be able to handle this IRL. I don't necessarily have claustrophobia, but I feel like this would be something that would terrify me. Uh, what I do have is an insane fear of spiders, and you know there are spiders up in this cave. So I would be struggling with that aspect. It's just like the fear of unknown bugs that are crawling all around me. That would just horrify me. It would probably paralyze me with fear, in fact. <laughs> Yay, we made it out! We made it out alive. How pretty is she? She's incredibly gorgeous. If you guys have played Tomb Raider, let me know in the chat. I played the original ones on the PlayStation 1. Way back in the 90s when I was a little girl and almost too small to hold the controller. And then I played the, um, there was like another, there was like another trilogy that they did in the 2000s. I played that one. I think it was like, sorry, that is so loud. I think it was like anniversary, um, oh my gosh, anniversary 
Legend, and Underworld. Underworld was probably my favorite of that trilogy. And the original trilogy, I think number one and number three are my favorites. Trinity's not done with it yet. They're protecting something. I weeks, and still no solid leads on who's leading the local Trinity so I love them. But I talked to some people in town, and they're excited. There's a VIP coming to the Day of the Dead. Oh yeah, Day of the Dead! We should look into it. Um, there, there are gonna be dead bodies in this game. Okay, so one thing that we have to do is I think we do need to address the audio and then I'm gonna try and address the way that it looks as well because I think my computer can handle a little bit better as far as graphics. Um, music volume, I'm not super interested in. Dialogue volume, I'll turn that up a little bit and the sound effects volume. But you guys are also uh, very welcome to tell me if it's too loud. Uh, there's also a lot of accessibility on this game. So like we have the ability to uh, turn on the voiceover immersion, which means that most characters will speak in their native language, which is very cool. So we're going to do that. Um, and then we're going to leave our subtitles on because I love that. Uh, and you guys let me know if that works for you. So we're going to close that and let's go into display and graphics. We are going to make it look just a little bit better. Uh, I'm not sure that we need to. OK, that's ultra performance. I'm perfectly fine with that. Uh, let's see. V-Sync, we need to have it on. I cannot live without V-Sync anymore. Uh, settings have not been applied or she want to discard them. No, we want to apply them. Uh, we want to keep the changes. Okay, so there's something that's happening that I don't like and it looks like chromatic aberration and I don't like that. Uh, bloom is okay. I think motion blur. I don't think I like motion blur on. And... I don't care about her perfect hair, so I don't care about that because it just kind of breaks the realism. Texture quality is high. That's good. Shadow quality is normal. I think the rest of it's going to be okay. Uh, what is tessellation, though? We're going to turn it off because I don't think I care about that. Okay, let's go ahead and close it and see what that looks like. I'm sorry, guys, if that was... Uh annoying for you yeah there's like something going on though like the quality looks bad i don't know guys let me know if it bothers you i'm gonna try and play with how it is right now um yeah so i've been a fan of tomb raider since probably like 1997 or 1998 i think when my mom bought a playstation one for me and my sister and the Tomb Raider games, we played them quite a lot. <laughs> and in the original trilogy of the games, like you could go to Lara's house and you could like do this little outdoor gym course or something. It was like an athletics course or something. Um, and at the end, you would earn your twin revolver, not revolvers. What are they called? Uh, just her twin pistols, whatever they are. You would earn those by completing the course. I'm on my way in. Almost there. Look how pretty this is. And then after you're done with the course and you got your guns, your butler would show up. I think his name was Winston and you could like shoot at him and he was wearing like army fatigues. And he had this little tea tray and he would like pick it up and like put it over his face, like hide from you. It was so funny. Uh, I do have all the original Tomb Raider games, so we will definitely play them at some point. But I thought today would be a good day to do this one because it does have an eclipse theme. Um, so we're in South America. I can't remember what country. Um, but this is looking either Mayan or possibly Aztec which is like one of my favorite cultures to learn about just because it's so cool. 
I would absolutely die to go to South America and see some of the uh, the pyramids that they have down there. Inca, is it Inca, Aztec, or Mayan? I think it's Aztec. They're not all the same. They're all a little bit different. Look how pretty she is. I think they did a really good job when they rebooted the series and they gave her a new look. I think she looks so pretty. And I like Jonah too. Get a load of this place. Guess all that research paid off. Now we know what Trinity's after. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they really didn't want us in here. I'm glad we followed your father's notes. Mm-hmm. Oh, your leg. I saw where the passage collapsed on you back there. You want me to take a look at that wound? No, I'm fine. Jonas really cares about Lara. What is all this? Um, you said game is this game is quiet. Sort of is this better? Pink fish. Pink fish. Tell me if that's too quiet or too loud. And I might be talking a little bit louder because the headphones I'm wearing doesn't like it kind of muffles my own voice a little bit, so I don't know how loud I am. Damaged, perhaps intentionally. Why would Trinity sabotage this? They usually just destroy everything. No, I think the damage is older. She's got dirt on her face. Uh oh. Uh oh. You don't want to hear a beeping. You said game is still quiet? Okay, hold on. Hold on. I think. I mean, it sounds. On my phone, it sounds normal, but. I can, uh. Let's see, I can try something here in a minute. If you hadn't dragged me out, Give me I'd just be in a second. taking pictures. We'd still be in there. Don't know if you'd be doing much. Tona. Hey, you want to freshen up? Regroup at the cafe? Dr. Dominguez is supposed to be there tonight. Sounds good. I'll try and decipher the riddle, see if the date has anything to do with it. Right. Pink fish, Silver Crown Mountains, I'll look into it. By the way, this cafe... Supposed to have really good food. Okay. Um. Yeah, I'm not very hungry. Let's see. After all of that, I'm starving. What I can do is, I think I've got a little bit of a limiter on OBS. I'll pull it up just a little bit, and y'all let me know. Ooh, we're in Cozumel, Mexico. so pretty it's uh dia dia de los muertos day of the dead so if you have not played any of the other games from the reboot series Anything new on Dr. Dominguez? you'll miss some of the subplot He's leaving a few Trinity digs which is that Lara is obsessed with following Trinity Almost to the point of getting herself in very harmful situations. And then Jonas is like really trying. Uh, I keep calling him Jonas. His name's Jonah. Jonah is trying to get him to or get her to just like pull back a little bit. Pink dolphins found only in the Amazon. It goes on. Um, then chase the heart of the serpent to the silver crowned mountain. Look at this. I think she found it's these the somewhere. Hydra, the serpent. This star is the heart. It's set in the southwest. So southwest from the Amazon River. Hmm. Brazil. Brazil. Okay. This date from the ruins. See, she's you obsessed. You can tell. This number looks like a Maya thirteen, but what if it's really an eight? With procession, it. What? Uh, procession. The Earth tilts, so over mm. time, these stars appear in a different place on the horizon. Important if you're navigating by the night sky. Okay. In the Maya calendar, that's a 2,000 year difference. Back okay, then, the um, the I wonder if I should turn my west. limiter up. Let's see if I can do that. Um, what I'll do is I'll turn the limiter up for the desktop audio. Oh, and I think Shane is going to come help. Should I turn this up right here? 
it was like right there. Um, you can just watch when there's stuff playing. Just look at where it's at. Mm -hmm. You can do that. Um, that will have a, the same effect. Just you just have to, you know, look at where your mic is peaking, and mm -hmm. if it's peaking way above you, then they're not going to be able to hear you. If you want it to be peaking a little bit below. Okay, you. so I'll do it like right there. Just, just watch it. You'll okay, gotcha. Okay, let's let's try it now. Let's see if that is better. Taylor, if you're still there, let me know how it sounds after this. I've adjusted the limiter on OBS. And I'll kind of take a look at it. Yeah, it looks like... I mean, to me, it looks like the game is not even getting that loud on oh, OBS. That's why it's in Peru, not Brazil. Trinity has been looking at hmm. the wrong place. Exactly. We need to look for the Silver Crown Mountain in Peru. There's more. Um, something about uh, a key. What is Trinity looking for in the hidden city? Doctor. We're looking for a key, by the way. <laughs> she just said it, but we are. Show me. I can also do this. Let me see if... If this can help. That's like all the way up, so we're... Yeah, That's I think right. we just is what it is. It, it is quiet. I Wait, don't know on. what to do about it. Trinity's watching this place. Let's try to. I can't just let it. Yeah. Keep let playing. it play. Keep okay. Talk. I can't. I can't see what it's. So they're talking right now. Mhm. Mm so I've turned the limiter up, but it's only getting to about like right there. Yeah. I wonder if it's because I'm using a different headset. I'm normally using my Elite headset. No, that shouldn't matter. I don't think this can make a difference, but okay. We'll see if it does. All right. Trinity's people are armed. I heard they brought in reinforcements. Mm -hmm. I think it's peaking. Right? Yeah, I think it is. Way. Yeah. Is that better? What happened with the last cell we took uh, down. no, it is not quiet to me. It is extremely loud. <laughs> you said that's better. That's good. That's good. So much for a night off. Thank you, Taylor. Come? Appreciate it. You can't be far. You must be in the courtyard somewhere. And thank you, Shane. Yeah. Let's look around. Okay, so Someone we're in Cozumel. Something. We've got some cervezas. Hey, Sammy. How's it going? And Gracias, you said not allowed to you. It is. It's okay, though. It's Dia de los Muertos. And Let's keep looking. we're looking for a guy. His name is Dominguez. And this is what we look like. Look at the outfit. It's pretty cool. Puedes creerlo? A este lo atraparon bebiéndose las ofrendas. I'm sure I was just as mischievous as a child. No hay que castigarlo. No need to punish him. Se encargará de eso. Tomó bastante. Oh, okay. So if you guys can't read that, what I'll do is I'm actually uh I think I'm going to I'm going to actually have the voiceover immersion off on that. And that is so that uh, if you're watching and you can't read the subtitles, you'll know what was said. No, let's keep looking. What's he looking at over here? Is this an ice cream shop? That's cool. Like, it's fine if I don't think about it. I would so love to be in a place like this. I would totally party. We're gonna dance a little bit. Dance, Jonah. That's all I can do is walk back and forth and turn around. Okay, there's a little kid we can talk to. Let's talk to him. Look, for my father. Oh. Maybe I could light one for my mother. Yeah, her mom's dead too. You'd rather storm guard. <laughs> no, this is fine. We're so gonna have to play the uh, the other Jordan, two murder games as well because I feel like the reboot uh, in 2013 was so good as well. Be sure I'm not followed. I don't want to be followed. I think I can find another way over the wall. I'll take care of these guys. Look at her mask. That's so cute. You can't come through this way. 
heard there was some kind of a uh, crazy <laughs> like chicks and skull makeup. Y'all know anything about that? It's not for tourists. Uh, no, you know Maria invited. Taylor, you said, I wonder how many Tomb Raider games there are. Okay, so there's Tomb Raider 1, 2, and 3 from the original PlayStation. Then there's Tomb Raider Anniversary, Legend, and Underworld, which was on PlayStation 2 and PlayStation 3. There was uh, Tomb Raider Reboot 2013, Rise of the Tomb Raider. And then this one, Shadow of the Tomb Raider. Um, and then there were a couple of other games too for PC, but they're not technically under the Tomb Raider. Oh, I forgot there was also Chronicles and Angel of Darkness. I think that that was on PlayStation 1 or PlayStation 2. And then there is um, a couple of Lara Croft games that are, it's like Lara Croft and the Guardian of something. I don't know. Um, they're a little bit different because they're like a top-down perspective. I didn't like those that much. But yeah, I'm a big fan of Tomb Raider. <laughs> Excuse me. Excuse me. What if she went through and she was like, Excuse me. These are pretty. They look like geraniums. Let's get some of those herbs. It's medicine. The original Tomb Raider games are very hard. Especially now, too, because they're, like, kind of outdated. Um, I have them. We can definitely play them. This is 11 main games. That sounds about right. Even after the fiasco in Brazil, no one questions your leadership of the organization. Oh, I'm listening to this guy. Yes, sir. They're ready for anything. That guy who's walking away. That's who we're uh, listening to. Let's talk to this... Uh, gentlemen, right here. I'm sorry <gasps> for your loss. Perhaps I will make the trip alone. That's sad. He lost his fiance or his wife. So, in the Mexican culture, uh, Dia de los Muertos, if you don't know a lot about it, it's the day that they honor the dead. And they do basically what you're seeing here in the game is uh, they'll go to like family plots and put flowers out and leave offerings and just basically talk to their loved ones who've passed. And I think that it's very sweet. And I wish that Jonah, more cultures Dominguez would do is this. Not just the leader of the cell. I think he's the leader of Trinity. We need to be careful. Laura. Yeah, yeah, I heard you. I wonder if grief is maybe not nearly as traumatic if you continue to honor the dead like this. I'm just curious if it kind of helps a little bit with the grieving process. Okay, I like to look around a little bit, so we have done that. Let's move on. And we're going to go through this giant arch right here. This guy looks fun. Whoa! Whoa! Disculpe, señorita. My yeah. fault. Excuse us. I love the masks, too. I feel like there's a reason for the mask as well, but I can't remember. If anybody knows, let me know in the chat. Is it so that, like, the dead don't recognize us? Is that why we wear the masks? Someone I feel like there's something about that. We think it was Croft. Wait, what's wrong? I want confirmation. No more guessing. No more guessing. Make sure we get visual confirmation. Jonah, they might have noticed me. I'll try the back alley. I'll find another way around. Fireworks. Why did my voice crack? I said fireworks and it was very, uh... I don't know, it sounded like he's going through puberty for a second. Oh, he's handsome. He's wearing a cowboy hat. Don't listen to her, Pablo. 
Oh, that's the only thing I saw. I wasn't paying attention. Oh. Todos los frescos, manzanas. Uh, I can't say the second one. Is it zan zanahorias? Agua agua aguacates? Plantanos, tomates. I say tomates all the time because that's how I like to say tomato. I just think that's like the pervert, uh, preferred way to say tomato. You can never be too safe. You're very gracious. Thank you. We should go. That guy's so nice. I think it's Dominguez, the guy that we're following. He seems really nice and polite. He has great manners. Ooh, that is a pretty plant right there. I wonder what it is. Okay, so normally I would yeah, this be playing this and I would just like zip right Dominguez through this, but I like to look at everything. Here. You have They're the looking for me. Female, Caucasian, early 20s. You got that? Well, good. They'll find her. Good. I don't want anyone getting in there. Oh, we're getting in. We are gonna get in. You can't keep me out. I'm nosy. Okay, we got a cowboy hey, here. Get out of my office. Sorry. Close the door when you leave. Right. <laughs> Don't throw it at me. Don't throw the bottle at me. That's rude. Ah! Watch this. Don't worry. Go. Play. Then he seemed nice. The readings at the site are unlike anything we've ever seen. It's the key to our next phase. If this is it, we'll be ready. Okay, so we're following this guy. I haven't made it super clear what we are supposed to be doing. But yeah, we're following this guy. His name is Dominguez. And we think that he's the guy who killed our dad. I'm Jonah, pretty sure. They've entered the dig site. It's fenced off and there's a guard at the gate. I'll find another way in. I found okay. a good spot. I'll watch the perimeter. Okay, so we cannot go this way, which is the way that they went. We're also able to run now instead of walk. Um, we can use Q to activate our survival instincts. Um, which is something I'll probably be doing a lot. And I might do it to a point where it's annoying, but you guys can let me know. Throwing down our stuff. Unfortunately, we're taking our mask off, even though I like it a lot. I would not want to take it off. David, meow. These ruins. Check this out, David. You're gonna like this game. There's um. Some sort of cave. There's. Uh, there's an aspect of horror to this game. Ooh. Can you guys see all right? Is it too dark? What I'm going to do, since it seems like it is dark, I'm going to turn up the brightness for you, okay? Uh, brightness. And that is for your benefit. Because I don't want it to be super dark. Than we gotta go in the sewer. It's your own fault. Raise your hand if you've ever played in a sewer as a kid. Woo! We're gonna take this guy out. Press F to take down enemies while undercover. I forgot there's a lot of violence in this game. You're gonna have to get over it. I'm sorry. Your employment has been terminated. Uh, let's see if I still got it. Oh, I guess I'm going right for the heart. I wasn't gonna shoot him right in the face like I wanted to. I won't hurt you. I just killed that man in front of you, but you're fine. You I've decided you're gonna What's live. Well, they've been searching for a temple entrance for many years. Today they found it. I have to go warn my sister. She's on her way here now. Okay. We did murder two people just now. Jonah, Trinity just tried to kill a local archaeologist. That was him. I have to find what they're looking for. 
She was like, they were gonna kill this guy. He's innocent. And then I definitely killed two people. Oh yeah, and then somehow we're hearing, um, I guess we're tuned into their radios. Uh, so those boxes that we just picked up were supplies, by the way. And this little bush is gonna be a help. I guess it's some kind of help, like medicine, maybe? An herb? Okay, so... That is also a box of salvage. We can use the parts to modify our weapons. And, if you haven't noticed, there are a couple of walls that have this, I guess, paint on it. Anytime you see that in a video game, that means you need to climb on it. That's what that means. I like this part. You guys are gonna like this. Ishel, the goddess of the full moon. Oh, and this is Shackshell. I love Shackshell. It's an inscription. Shackshell. The key lies beyond her gaze. The key. The key? This By the way, it. if you guys saw the eclipse today, must be down there. it was awesome. If you didn't get to see it, I understand because we had a lot of rain and cloud cover. Um, currently, the sun is out now, but of course it can be out during the solar eclipse. Um, I do have some pictures of it. If you're part of the Discord, you can see them in the general chat. If you're not, check out our Discord. I think I've got a link to it in the description. Oh, oh, oh. I almost fell. So now we get to repel. Okay, this should work. And Lara's crazy, so like we do some wild stuff in this game. But this looks so cool. So look where we are. We're gonna try and get over to that area, which have you noticed that it kind of looks like a face? That's wicked. All right. Oh yeah, baby. Uh, when I was a kid, I used this to pretend that I was Lara Croft. The site secured ASAP. Doctor Dominguez arrives. We all go in together. Okay. We're repelling down. Let's go ahead and just drop off right here. Whoa, 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 whoa. We are not ready to go that far yet. Um, yeah, when I was a kid, I used to pretend that I was Lara and I would, um, I would climb up on to my chain link fence and I would walk across it like, uh, like I would balance and like walk across it with my arms out and pretend that I was like, Walking across logs in the forest. I about died. And then <laughs> this is ready. not good. Dr. Dominguez is on his way down. <laughs> but I better hurry. I would like walk across it and try and get to the other side where my neighbor's fence was and they had like this privacy fence. <laughs> and I would like look over <laughs> into the yard and pretend that I was like spying on them. They were never home, so it didn't matter, but like still it was wrong of me to do that. But I was also like seven. I had no idea what I was doing was wrong. But yeah, uh, I did a lot of stuff. Um, in the original Tomb Raider games, there's like a scene where she has this motorcycle and she like drives it. Looking at that cave. Oh yeah, look at that, you can see it. Um, how do I... what do I do again? Yeah, um... Can we go down? Oh! Oh! Fudge! <laughs> We're dead. Um... I got distracted and I forgot how to do what I was supposed to be doing. Um... I might die again. Anyway, she had a motorcycle and she did this crazy stunt where she like drove off of a cliff that was like kind of a ramp and then she um this is what i needed to do um and then she like jumped off the motorcycle onto this boat that was leaving and so like i had this pink huffy bike and it was from like the 70s um but this would have been in like the 2000s it was already an old bike but anyways i had this bike 
and I would definitely like pretend it was like my motorcycle this and I would do like all these stupid cave. stunts on it or try to do stunts on it. Yeah, I really wanted to be her. She was awesome though. She's a powerhouse. Okay, so we're needing to swing over there, but I don't feel like I'm doing a very good job. Come on, we can do it. Hold this, use WS to build momentum. It's not working though. It's not working. Oh, cause I have to hold it down. I'm like, we're kind of just dangling. That's good enough. <laughs> this is it. Almost died, but we're fine. How cool does that look? Jonah, I'm entering a cave. We may that only took us 45 minutes. I'll keep an eye on Trinity out here. Got some mushrooms. They're called bolete, brownish capped mushroom with a thick stem used for endurance mixtures. Once again, I would be concerned about the spiders around me. We got some barnacles on here. That's cool. That means this that the tide like comes up in underwater. here. And also, like, I would struggle getting in the water because I would be thinking about, like, leeches, snakes, bacteria. I would be concerned. Look at that. Those are skulls. Low-key, I love that stuff. Um, okay, so... What do we have over here? This looks like a cache of some sort. And we also have murals that we can, like, decode or whatever. Because Lara knows different languages. Part of the serpent. This mural depicts some kind of voyage or pilgrimage undertaken by the Maya. Seems they carried an item of great import and traveled south to the source of the pink fish. The Amazon River. Just like Jonah said. That's really cool. So there's these little extra things that you can do. The carvings on this Maya monolith are far too deteriorated to read. Well, that's unfortunate. Okay. Now we're going to use our rope puller. I like this part. Definitely, definitely feel like that could have hit me in the head. Oh, 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 oh! There, that was a trap. <laughs> and I almost went head first into it. So sometimes you'll have these challenges to like destroy different carvings and stuff, which is funny to me because it's like, Lara's this archeologist, right? But really all she does is travel the world and just destroy things. She just Fs everything up. Like she's making this a challenge to go into these ruins and she's like, I'm gonna destroy all these little carvings that I find. And it's like, you probably shouldn't though. Ew, rats, but I like them though. I like rats. See, I feel like that definitely definitely looks weird. Like the water looks weird. Let's see if we can fix that. Um, let's look at our graphics. Uh, and shadow quality is fine. Ambient occlusion. I don't understand what that is. Normal level of detail. We'll do... Let's do high. Let's see if my computer can handle high. This might mess everything up. Let's see if that works. I feel like that still looks so weird. Like it doesn't look good. Hold on. I got to figure this out. This does not look good. <laughs> preset. Let's do highest. Okay. Yeah. Let's just do a preset. That should work. Oh, this yeah, looks like way better. Okay. So we need these our survival instincts. 
We're about to go swimming. The water still looks weird in this game. Oh well. Holding cells. This place was a prison. We're not ready to go swimming yet, though. There's so many things we need to look at. I would so love to see a place like this IRL. But I would be afraid of it, like, collapsing on me. I do have a fear of, um, like, cave-ins and stuff like that. There's nothing in here. Taylor, you said, woo! <laughs> oh, what was that? There's something on the ground. Oh, okay, so we're gonna actually do some archaeology here. And I don't like that scraping sound at all. Okay, so we have looked everywhere. I think now we have to... We're gonna have to go swimming. Oh no, Taylor, you said your headache is possibly back? I'm so sorry. That sucks. It's been like a bad day for that. Okay, so... Hold space to ascend or hold left control to dive. Oh, that's crummy. I hate the way we're doing this. Oh, this looks... This looks hard. She can hold her breath for so long. I don't know why, but I don't like the way that that feels. Okay, let's see what this is. We're gonna crawl through this tiny little hole. There's an eel. And there's immediately bones in front of us. That's probably really good. Um... At this point, I would already be dying. Um, I would need to breathe. Okay, so thankfully there's some trapped air right there. I'd probably hang out there for a minute if I were her. So... Oh, fudge! Wait, I'm gonna die? Okay, no, I would hate the way that that feels. Taylor, you said same, right? I can hold my breath for a long time. I feel like compared to most people, because I just when I was a kid, I used to love swimming. Uh, this would kill me. I would die immediately. This is where I would die. No one would ever see me again. Um, I used to hold my breath for as long as I could when I was a kid. And that might be why I'm stupid today, because I probably killed a lot of my brain cells. Right here, I would die. I would die. A lot of this, like, that would require a lot of strength. Oh, I'm gonna die. David, you, not David, Taylor, you said on breathing. I can't. I can hold it for about 30 seconds, I think. Sometimes if I'm really relaxed, I can hold it for about a minute. If I'm, like, counting fast, you know, but... That right there would kill me. I have to find the temple Dominguez is looking for. Well, we gotta shoot this. See ya. Okay, um, so we're in a ruin. And I think that they want us to go up here. Or maybe to the side here. I didn't have to do that, but I wanted to. Oh, here's something too! Um, but we don't have the gear to get past it, so one of the cool things in this game is we can fast travel and once we get better gear, we can come back here and see what's behind that door. So earlier, I was supposed to cut the trap. This is very reminiscent of Tomb Raider 1 in one of the first levels. There's like, um, there's like a booby trap like that. Okay, we don't know what's down there, but we don't want to find out. So let's jump. I so wish I could be fit like her, but I don't think I mentally and physically have what it takes to get in that kind of shape. Jonah, I made it. I'm in an underground temple. Good. I 
I'm in an underground temple. Whoa. Oh, snap, y'all. Check this out. Uh, Trinity's blasting their way in. I can tell it's causing tremors. There's a pyramid. I'm gonna get to the top. Wow, can you guys imagine that you're like spelunking and you come across a freaking pyramid? Did we find out whether this was Aztec or not? Um, I would love to know for sure. Let's look at our... So we're in South America. To find the hidden city, go south along the shore until you find the pink fish. Then chase the heart of the serpent to the Silver Crown Mountain where the twins... Okay, but did we say what it was though? Laura's Nova is an ancient and secretive organization ruled by an Illuminati-like High Council that has existed since the time before Christ. They are determined to find and exploit all of the ancient artifacts of the world. I've been hunting them since I found out they killed my father. Yeah, this John is what's and going I have on. Tracked down so many Trinity cells since then, but all of the other ruins and tombs we found were destroyed except the one in Cozumel. I need to find out what they're after what their end game is and stop them. And I need to find out what these ruins are, ma'am. Ishel and Shakshal are two faces of the same goddess. Ishel is the young woman and represents life and healing. She's associated with the full moon. Love her. Shakshal is the old woman and represents death. She is associated with the new moon. Love her too. Together as the twins, symbols of duality in the cycle of life and death. I love it. That's awesome. Jonah is a survivor. And a good friend. I met him several years ago Aww. on my first expedition on board the Endurance. Jonah. He made me laugh the first time I spoke to him, calling me Little Bird. Mm -hmm. We've been through so much since then. And after I lost touch with my best friend Sam, Jonah was always there for me. He came with me to Katash and helped me find the divine source, the artifact my father was looking for. That was in was Rise killed. of the Tomb Raider. After I destroyed the divine source to keep it from Trinity's hands, Jonah helped me hunt them down, cell by cell. When I finished deciphering my father's notes, Jonah thought that Cozumel was the best place to start. At first, I didn't believe him, but he was right. The site in Cozumel was the only mm -hmm. one we found that wasn't destroyed. Now I know why. Trinity knows there's a piece of the puzzle missing, and I need to find out what it is before they do. Right. Uh, we still haven't figured out what's happening. Okay, it's Maya. Okay, so Heart of the Serpent, it says a depiction of the Maya journey. Of a Maya journey. So we're in a, in a Mayan, um, I don't know, like tomb or something? What would you call it? Oh, Lord. They're moving. Imagine, imagine you have to do this. Like you're putting so much faith in this stuff not to crumble and fall apart. Whoa, why did it sound like someone was knocking? There's literally corpses. We're not phased by it. Good, there are platforms that can help me reach the top. Looking for something to weigh them down. You're breaking up. Got some activity here. Get closer. Oh, Jonah. Sorry I kept calling you Jonas. I knew it was something with a J. Okay, so we found the thing that we want to weigh it down. We can use that. There's something over here making noise. We did find gold. So that's cool. I'll need to find a way to get to the other side. Yeah, something over here wants to break. I can hear it. That's where my headphones are saying it wants to break. And I'm supposed to do something at this point. I'm gonna guess I go over here. is epic epic okay um that was an insanely long jump she's an athlete she could be in the olympics you know oh um well let's go this way <gasps> no i missed thank goodness i was able to turn directions while in midair 
Okay, uh... We're gonna tether ourselves... ...to this post. And then we're gonna use our ascender. But do you see that there's something, like, glowing over there? That would be treasure, so we gotta get to it. And we will. Uh... Let's do this nonsense first. Stop! Oh god, oh god. She scares the crap out of me sometimes, I'll be honest with you. I didn't know what she was planning on doing there. Even though I'm controlling her, it's hard to say what's gonna happen. Okay. We found treasure. Okay. We found some secrets. Uh, what did we find out? So, it's showing us... Yeah, obviously... Okay, so we know that there's a statue up there that we can look at. There's also a document and some other traveler's backpack. Um, but I'll be honest with you, unless it's directly in our path... <laughs> And die. Uh, unless it's directly in our path, I'm not totally interested. Uh, thankfully, it just put us right where we needed to go. I mentioned this in one of my last streams, uh, where I was talking about playing, like, Uncharted when I was younger. And how I found it to be really funny when you would just mess up and, like, fall off a cliff or something. Because, just imagine that you're out spelunking, you know, exploring and all that good stuff. And you fall off a cliff and you die in a place like this where no one's ever going to find your body. Like, that's like, not only really horrible and sad, but there's also like a layer of comedy to it for some reason, in my opinion. Uh, I don't know what we can do over here. But we're at, like, one of our first puzzles. So... Um... Hey, Burke! Hi! Hi, welcome in! Is this your first time into one of my streams? If it is, welcome. And do you like Tomb Raider? I imagine that you do if you're here. Okay, so we've pushed this cart down here, and I feel like this whole situation down here turns, if I can remember. So let's figure out how we do that. Okay, here's a crank. We love those. Let's get it turned around. Uh, let's get it turned around the other way so that I can maybe attach the rope to this doohickey, possibly. Yeah, let's do that. Um, how do I get out of this? We're gonna tether it to this. And then now we can turn it. And that should bring it up. Tomb Raider is one of my favorite games of all time. And the new games are pretty good. So... How do we get out? Let's, uh... F with the... Okay, let's try it. How do I get... How do I get out of my situation, though? If I cut the rope, the cart should have enough speed to destroy the debris. Okay, well, let's, uh... Let's do it, Laura. F near a rope. If I cut the rope, the cart should have enough speed to destroy the debris. Y'all, I'm hitting F. How do I get off this nonsense? I'm stuck. Uh, we're stuck. Uh, first time yes, thank you. And yes, I was at middle school when I first played Tomb Raider. That's awesome. And what was the first Tomb Raider game that you played? Uh huh. Can I hit the button? I'm literally trying. Okay, we're gonna reload the checkpoint because I don't know what I'm doing and I need to figure out how to get away from the crank. 
I remember having this issue the first time I played too. Okay. Let's figure this nonsense out. Let's cut this. That might be helpful. And then we'll try it again. Maybe that was what was throwing me off. Underworld? No way. That's so awesome. Underworld was my favorite of the second trilogy. Um, the first trilogy is the one that I played back in like the 90s. Um, but then... Oh. Oh, you know what? I... Okay, so I'm screwing up here again. How do I get off of this thing? I can rotate the turntable with that crank. But I loved Underworld. It was so good. Girl, get off of this. Oh my god, you guys. Uh, look, I gotta look at the controls. This doesn't make any sense to me. Um, mouse. No. Uh, key mapping. Let's see. I gotta figure out how to get off of the thing. Like, how to stop using the thing that I'm using. Um, interact is E. But there has to be a way to stop interacting. Should I try and connect my controller? Let's try it. Let's see if that fixes my issue because this is getting horribly annoying. The only thing, guys, is it has been a long time since I've played a game like this with a controller. So my aiming will probably be absolutely atrocious. But to be honest with you, I'm really annoyed that I can't just, like, get away from this thing that I'm trying to use. Um... Let's try this. Uh, I don't think this is going to work. Okay, so that helped immediately. Um, oh god, this feels so weird. Okay. Yeah, we got to get it turned around. Let's do it this way. I literally might stop using the controller after this part because this is, like, breaking my brain. Excuse me? What button am I supposed to hit? Why? Okay. And also, I never played Tomb Raider on Xbox. It was always on PlayStation, so these controls are weird to me. Let's try it. I'm scared. And that worked perfectly, so like, what the heck? Okay, and then now we disconnect... Disconnect the controller now. <laughs> Maybe it'll work better after we're out of the tutorial. Okay, we got 100 XP from that. And that did it. That broke, uh, that broke the thing that was holding on to that platform, which I guess we need to be able to jump onto. So we can get close to this ladder. Putting all of our faith into this crappy old ladder that's probably, like, millions of years old, right? Or thousands. Probably thousands. I don't know if it's millions. I'm sure someone can tell me if they know about history, how old the Mayan culture was, like how long ago it was. Oh! Those bats scared us. This stuff right here is really insane. Like, to be able to hold on to a ledge like that, dangling at that height, like, you would have to be so strong. And although I think that they did an incredible job with Lara's redesign, I'm thinking maybe she needs to have beefier shoulders than what she does. Just based off of her physical abilities. Jonah. Yeah, I'm here. Jonah, there's a mural here. Jonah. It shows a box. A box. Inscription says, 
The silver box of Isha. Ixchel. Ixchel. It must be what's in the hidden city. This is a Maya myth. It says the box will summon the god Kukul Khan. Kukul Khan. Uh, you said like Uncharted? Uh, yeah, so... Looks like a series Tomb Raider of came first, and then Let's Uncharted see. basically... Storm. Okay, so break. it's... There's like a lot of controversy uh, between Uncharted and Tomb Raider. A lot of people think that Uncharted did it first, but Tomb Raider came first, but they're both playing off of Indiana Jones, so. And they both have their pros and cons. I think Uncharted is more funny and lighthearted. Uh, but yeah, the Uncharted games kind of munched on Tomb Raider's flavor a little bit. They're both really good. And I wish that they would just do like a crossover because I feel like Nathan Drake and Lara would probably create so much destruction just trying to get after what they're after. It'd kind of be funny. I found a dagger. There's an inscription. Like why can't we have an Uncharted slash Tomb Raider movie or game? Like that would be so great. We can't let Trinity get hold of this. Let's think this through. Hey, shit! Laura! Trinity guards are coming your way. Let's do it, Laura! Yes, take it? No, don't take it. What are we doing? And she took it. And now there will be repercussions. So that's supposed to be the key for the box. Uh oh. Yeah. So you see that she's already like really nervous oh, about shit. what she did. Jonah, get to higher ground. Oh no, you took it, didn't you? Jonah Hurry. told her not to. Oh, let's Go grab that. Who? Dr. Dominguez and more men. Apparently we know what we're looking for. Great. And the siege begins. The siege? Yeah, that's what the reinforcements are for. Maybe she shouldn't have taken that thing, right? Yes, I heard you, okay? Dominguez is coming tonight. I get it. What I'm telling you is the rain is gonna flood it. What the fuck do you think I'm doing? There's language. Check the water pump right now. Okay. They can't Let's see me. Sure. She murdered that guy. How's it going with that pump? Straight up stabbed him. Answer me. You help me get these lights ready. I think she justifies it because Operation they're Black like part of Trinity, but None of the local workers I think that they could be alive. innocent. Ah, fuck. You said this game looks fun as well. It is fun. Make sure the perimeter's secure. What do you think is in there? See how dirty I, I am? Know, but I hear the readings are off the charts. Let's just make Q sure to activate survival instincts. Yeah. We'll be ready. Inspectors are coming. Be ready. Let's keep count of how many people we've murdered, okay? So, well, we can try to keep count. So we murdered the one guy who was on guard in the first level, and then we murdered the guy who was gonna murder the archaeologist. So that's two. This guy is three. These two guys, that's going to be four and five. So already in this game, we have five lives on our hands. Fuck. Oh, uh, six. Don't worry, I'll fix it. This is taking way too long. If Dominguez has to wait for us when he gets here. It's not going to be pretty. Got something, maybe. Taking a look. What are they doing? Why won't they let me aim on my own? I can, I don't need aim assist. Hold on, we got to turn that off. Um... Aim mode. Combat difficulty. I'm going to say we can not have it hard, but just have it be normal. Uh, you know what? We might just do normal on everything. Let's just do that. Uh, you said sometimes I wonder how Nathan Drake and Lara Croft didn't have psychological problems after all those murders. They never talk about it in Uncharted. But if you ask me, I feel like Nathan has murdered more people than um, 
than Lara has, but we're gonna try and keep track. So we've killed six people so far. But yeah, I think that Lara, they kind of talk a little bit about it in this game, I think, I think. Um, but Nathan never addresses the fact that he's murdered like literally thousands of people, possibly millions. And his girlfriend, what's her name? Is it Elena? Is that her name? I can't remember. I feel like that's her name. Um, she like never, she's like not worried about it. She doesn't care that her boyfriend's a murderer. Let's get some ammo. Here we go. Okay, so it's seven, eight, nine, nine people, 10. Okay, so we're about to kill 10 right. more, uh, Just 10 people. You. Monitor the police bay. Let us know when the gunshots get reported. So it'd be, hold on, what'd we say? Seven, eight, nine, 10. I want everything ready when they get here. Goddamn archeologists. This is terrible, isn't it? That's 10. I wouldn't want to meet them IRL, to be honest. That's true. They would probably just kill us. I mean, if they thought for a split second that we were in the way of them trying to get what they wanted, we would be goners. They would kill us instantly. And probably in some horrifying way. Let's go up here. Oh, oh, oh. They saw something. They saw me! Oh god, not a helicopter. Okay, that's 8, hold on, 10, 11, 12, 13. This might take our count up to 13. I'm so sorry about the language, you guys. 11, 12. I can't even find them. 13. 14. What's he throwing at me? Molotov? What we say, 14? people we're gonna lose count eventually you guys uh but i think that we have a handy dandy tool in our menu that will tell us how many lives we've taken it's not funny but i feel like we kind of have to laugh about it a little bit right what did i just say 17 was that 17 people let's see if we can find out um uh, I might be wrong about that. There might not be a way for me to tell how many murders we've done, but I want to say, okay, it was 18. Taylor says it was 18. Did you just hear that muddy, squelchy sound? That was wild. <clears throat> 18 lives. She didn't even flinch. Okay, uh, what's going on with this light? It's flashing a little bit, so sorry about that. We're full up on ammo because- Oh my god, look how he died! <laughs> look how he died! Hold on, we gotta figure this out. Uh... Look at him. Look how he died. <laughs> He's doing like a like a like the high kick thing from like ballet. Wow. Very nice. Let's get a nice little filter on there. I'm thinking like maybe that. And then oop. And then what else? Um That's pretty good. Uh let's hide the UI. What do you guys think? I think it's pretty good. 
I think that is incredible. Wow. Wow, sir. I'm so sorry that you had to die, but look at the flexibility there. Look at his face. Oh my god. Um, you said, who would be more successful in a mission where Nathan Drake and Lara Croft are rivals? Okay, so... I'm gonna say it's Lara because she is like, in my opinion, almost psychotically obsessed um, to the point where nothing else matters, no one else matters, only her mission. And she does not even like have one ounce of humor in her body. And she seems to be like laser focused. But Nathan would probably enjoy himself more. He would eventually get to uh, you know, basically, he would eventually get there, but he would mess up a lot along the way. Lara, however, she's just like, wham bam, I'm there, you know? Um, Taylor, you said YMCA pose. Did you not see that it was like, he was like doing this with his leg. He like had it. Here, I'll try and, he was like doing this nonsense with his leg, like up like a ballet dancer. I don't know how to say it. Ballerina. Ballerina. He was doing that. Or like a cheerleader. It was wild. Um, you, Taylor, you said a little keepsake of our murder. That's hilarious. I love that. Thank you for saying that. All right, cut scene. Um, I'll kill you. Uh-oh, she got got. Stop. Don't hurt her. Stop, don't hurt her. It's Dominguez. And then that guy right there in the striped shirt is literally the guy that we just killed and did the YMCA pose. Ow, my back, she says. This isn't the way I hope would be. You know I've been interested in your work. This man is so polite. Trinity always is. I found this. <laughs> He's like, I, f I found this. Wow. The key of Shack Shell. I like Shack Shell. I've sacrificed my life for this. Where's the silver box of Isha? Give it to me. We don't have that, do we? It's in a safe place. Oh, I guess we do have it. I guess we do have it. I didn't know. You don't have it. Oh, I don't have it. All right, the sun's coming in a little bit, so I'm going to change the color of this. It never occurred to me that you would just take it. Yeah, I would. I take everything. This key and the silver box, we can remake the world without witness, cruelty. And certainly with none of this murder but without the box the apocalypse oh so we were supposed to have the, the box sun. first you're lying she Lara, thinks he's bluffing you felt it when you took the key tremors are common but tsunami is coming and this is the first of many catastrophes you're doing you would have done the same would he <sighs> Uh oh. Yeah. Y'all hear that? By taking the key, you set the apocalypse in motion. So you we done messed up. Tragedy you have unleashed. Uh oh. The cleansing has begun. It falls to me now to stop it before it consumes us all. Oh, so he's mad at her for taking the key because she didn't have the box. She's hurt by something. I don't remember what hurt her. Here comes the tsunami! This will be loud. I'm going to turn it down just a little bit because it is crazy loud right now. And once again, we're underwater and I would die. This would be so hard to survive, by the way. 
Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Man, I remember this first game came out and I played it and I was so excited to play this scene. It was hard though. We gotta try to not die. But all this stuff would be hurting us, like for real. There would be like sharp things in the water stabbing us. Okay. You can do it, Laura. You can do it. And this is sad because this stuff really happens IRL. Like when there are tsunamis and stuff and floods. This stuff happens. Oh man, this is messed up. This is so messed up. We need air. Just hang out there for a minute, Lara. Get the axe out. Oh, there are dead bodies everywhere. We need air. We've been holding our breath for so long now. Uh-oh. Girl, get your pickaxe out! You should have had it already out! It's not even a question! She's about to drown. Go, 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 go! Got to find high ground. Okay. Not that we can see anything right now. This would be so hard to do. Like, what she's doing is crazy. I don't know how she would actually do it. Okay, so this is the part that I kept dying. Said a pee-pee-poo-poo -poo moment. Moment, yeah. I always dive right here. So, hopefully I don't this time. Okay, we can do this. Don't die! Don't die! Don't die! I don't like to have to redo stuff. Okay, we almost didn't make it. This part's really sad. I can't even- Oh! Oh! Welcome back, David! We just died. And then I gotta do it over again. You came back right as I got impaled by a giant spike. I'm literally holding my breath right now. You say you just loudly laughed? Why, when I died? <laughs> no, no, no! Why is it blurry? This part's sad. Oh no, that kid just fell. That's sad. Laugh at that, Taylor. Okay, cut scene. Jonah! It is sad. That was really messed up. But that's the point of this game, is to show the repercussions of Lara's I'm actions. So I failed. Was. What do you mean? Dominguez. He has the dagger. I lost it. Maybe he should have After the dagger. After everything that my father went through, I gave Trinity exactly what they wanted. He'll use the box and the knife to remake the world. To remake it. But he's world. polite. He thinks he can rid it of sin and weakness. A man like that, we... We have to stop him. It's all my fault. We'll figure it out, okay? I, I promise. No, 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 no! We have to get to the hidden city before Trinity. We have to find the silver box. Okay, but first, we're gonna help these people get to safety, and then we'll yes. go after the box. No, no one yes. is safe! 
Not if he gets the box first. I have to go. I'm the only one. You're the only one that can what? You don't know that you caused all this, Lara. Not everything is about you. Boom. These people need us here. We can do good now. Do it. Besides, what do we got to go on? A riddle? We're going to need more than pink fish and silver crowns to get to the hidden city. You're right, Jonah. So do you see how she's like gonna help these people. focused on only what's going on with her? And Jonah's like, Lara, look around. These people are dying. Let's help them now. There's nothing you can do about it right now. You need to help. And she's like, oh, well, let me take a look around for a second. And then she realizes what's happened. And if you didn't know, um, basically there's like a prophecy or something about like the box and the key and the first thing that'll happen in the apocalypse is a tsunami. And that's exactly what happened. Now we're in Peru. It's so pretty. It's so pretty here. Jonah's sad. I think Lara's really sad too, but she like doesn't know what to do or what to say. I think we're looking for a volcanic mountain. The crown of silver is probably a band of clouds. I just can't get those people back there out of my head. They lost everything. The riddle says, chase the heart of the serpent to the Silver Crown Mountain where the twins confer. I wonder what the twins are. <sighs> this storm looks like bad news. It's just a little rain. Jonah's like very much mountain. grounding her. We find it. How do we know we have the right one? Gut feeling. It's our only clue. Thankfully, Neural she's got all kinds of money that she can afford to do the stuff. The best way we can help them is to put a stop to it and Trinity. It is pretty. Okay. But how do we really know? Jonah, what I felt when I took the dagger. You mean the tremors of the tsunami? More than that. It felt like I woke something up. I know that it's not practical. I know that it's hard to believe. That it is spooky. Trust. Yes, it is. We have to trust each other. That's true. It goes both, wi both ways. You said the show is spooky? Oh, you want to rewatch a show called The River? Really? Oh, what is that about? I haven't heard of it. That's it. I don't like this storm. Should we come back in the morning? We're so close. I guess a little turbulence wouldn't stop Trinity either. I feel like they should have come back in the morning. Miguel, is there anywhere to land? So I guess they found those mountains and they realized that those are yeah, the ones I that they're looking that for. Let's go. Um, you said it's on Am it's on the Amazon River? Oh, you said acting like creepy things happen in your trap? Oh. Amazon River sounds cool. <gasps> Pilot is dead. It was a rock. Oh no, it was hail. It was hail from the storm. And if you remember, this is how the game started. I'm gonna turn it down just a little bit. Whoa. I'm 
we're waking up after the plane crash, I presume. Covered in mud and blood. Oh my god, that would be so terrible. Uh oh. Where's Jonah? Gotta unbuckle so we can get out. Right in the mud. That would hurt so bad. We're covered in gunk. Wow. Okay, guys. So, I'm gonna take a quick break. And I'm gonna go get um, a drink. And I will be right back, okay?
Okay, I am back. Sorry about that, but I just really needed to get some water, use the bathroom, that kind of thing. Um, also, I have this like super nice little heating pack that Willow made for me, and I decided to put it in the microwave to warm it up. And now it's too hot, but of course. Uh, okay, so let's get back to the game. We are in Peru. And we are currently plane wrecked. So we're going to have to figure out where Jonah is, if the pilot survived, and then find the rest of our supplies. Once again, guys, let me know if the audio is okay. And I think I've turned the brightness up as far as I can. So I do apologize. The game will get brighter eventually. No! Miguel is our pilot, by the way. We're in the jungle, baby. Welcome to the jungle. We got some health over here. I feel like we need to go this way. Here's some wood, which we can harvest. And I don't know if you guys can tell, but there's like kind of a sound. It kind of sounds like a pig, but I don't think it is a pig. Um, it's something else. Maybe a frog. It's kind of like a guttural sound. I'll keep this for later. <laughs> and we'll keep this stick for later. The special stick. This definitely looks like something Hello? to harvest. Anyone? We're gonna gather as much wood as we possibly can. Gosh, that heating pack is like so, so hot. Okay. Um, we can't go that way. I thought we were supposed to though. Let's go this way. Where are they? I have to find them. The cool thing about this game is there are multiple game modes. Um, so like if you play on easy, you'll have like more supplies and more things that you can find and whatnot. Um, you can also play on hard mode or one with the jungle mode, which essentially makes it to where you don't have survivor instincts. So you can't do the thing where it like shows you where to go next. Sorry, I'm fighting with my hair today. Uh, I gave myself like side bangs and my hair, like my part is naturally on the left. And when I trimmed my bangs, they decided that they were gonna start like curling, which is super annoying. So we're just living with it. If it looks awkward, that's because it is. I'm just kind of dealing with that yellow, you know? I love this. I love this with like the bird flying off in the distance. Someone's over there. I have to get to them. Okay, so we saw a flare. So we're gonna head towards it and see if we can't find our friends. I would be surprised if whoa, if the pilot was alive after what happened to him. See that nest? It's a bird's nest. We'll just take that. We'll take that feather. Also, that appears to be like some kind of a lily right there on the branch. A little sur surprising. Okay, let's uh, let's jump. That is an insane distance to jump. But I guess if your life depends on it, you could probably make it work, right? David, meow. What do you think about this game, David? Have you been paying attention? Those are monkeys making that noise. See them? Also, it could be the there could be cats making that noise. But it sounds like monkey, so some kind of monkey. Oh, we landed right in the mud. Yucky. It would be a shame if we played in it. I'm definitely playing in the mud. A fire. 
someone must be around. Hello? Oh. Jonah, you meow it? Does that mean you love it? Can you hear me? Why does the water just look so messed up in this game? Something is wrong. Something is wrong. It's the ray tracing? And... Let's see if that fixes it. It does not. The water just looks forever bad. What is happening? Why does it look like that? Display. Hmm. What is quality? Brightness is all the way up. Um, we don't have 3D, so we're good with that. Let's let's see if that helped. I mean, the water looks less like poopy, but I guess we can go with it. Um. Let's, let's look in this box and then we'll sit at the campfire. We have a flight log. Let's look at it. This is the flight log from our plane. Miguel made notes about the long-term weather forecast. Warm, hot, and dry for the next three days. So why do we have a storm? Highs in the low 30s. Mostly clear skies with nothing but light rain expected. Based on his other entries, if Miguel had thought the chances of a severe storm were better than half, he wouldn't have flown us at all. But there was no storm predicted, let alone something serious. Do we think she means 30 degrees Celsius? What would that be in Fahrenheit? Because 30 is cold in Fahrenheit. Fahrenheit. 30 degrees Celsius to Fahrenheit. That would be like 86 degrees Fahrenheit. So that's pretty warm, and that's kind of what I would expect from the rainforest amazon rainforest i guess i don't know i think that's where we are i didn't know the storm would hit so hard this is all my fault okay I honey listened to jonah thought it through i never should have taken that dagger i hope no one else was hurt no other village destroyed we're gonna let her talk I it need out to stop these oh. cataclysms before it's too late She's not done. Okay, so the cool thing about the fires, if we sit down at the fire, she's going to basically do like a journal entry. And then we can also upgrade her skills. Um, so skills, training and seeker enhances Laura's exploration and observation abilities. Warrior um, increases her combat and weapon abilities and scavenger enhances her crafting and stealth, uh, stealth, stealth skills. I'm going to go for probably the warrior one. Um, unlocking skills, choose a skill to learn from any blue, red, or green colored box. Skills with the white outlines have already been purchased and mastered. And dark boxes are unlocked when adjacent skill is purchased. Some skills must be found in the world and cannot be purchased. Okay. Path skills. Press E to preview any path skill skills earned from downloaded challenge tombs. I have all of those. I have uh, all the DLC for this game. So, um, the seeker, we could do reduce noise from jumps, landing, viper's nest. Uh, what do we want to do? Let's look at these to start with. So the ones that we have available are Hotsen Step, which is reduces noise from jumps, landings, and falls. Cayman Speed, increased speed when swimming. I would probably like that one. Oh, it says acquired. And Puma's Rest, increased precision by holding charge shots for a longer time. So those are the ones I already have. What I have available is Eagle Sight, Reveal Artifacts, Monolith, Treasure Chest, Arc, archivist maps and explorer backpacks while using survival instincts um owl's wisdom reveal challenge objects while using survival instincts uh locate the heart of a large animal gain the ability to harvest dart poison that would be fun 
increase the chance of finding rare animals. Man-made crafting resource gathered from each source. Automatically loot enemies killed by stealth takedown. That would be a good one. And craft lure traps. Increase breath capacity. I want to do that one. And then... Stealth kill without alerting nearby uh, enemies. Never slip when grabbing ledges. Yes, absolutely. I heard those too and I was like, that's what I want to do. We don't have the ability to uh, get our outfits yet because we don't have our stuff. And then our fast traveling is not available either. Do I have one more skill point? I do. Uh, reduce damage when falling from heights or visual assistance when aiming at an enemy's head. I kind of want the one... Harvesting requires makeshift knife. Um... Let's do this one. Reduce damage when falling from heights. Let's do that. Okay, we should be good now. Let's go ahead and get out of our campfire. And let's move on. See the monkeys? My gear is in that cargo. I'll need to cut it down. Let's go get it. Find a tool to cut down your gear. Because we lost our knife. It's somewhere else. That looks like a cane toad, which are vi vi poisonous. Poisonous, I think. Cane toads are poisonous. Won't be able to open that without a tool. Um. Uh, well, let's uh harvest this. Let's go over there to where the the plane is. <laughs> I feel like Maybe I could definitely open that box. Rack. Seems safe. Yeah. That looks so dangerous, Ugh. girl. There it goes. Damn it. Reminds me of the book hatchet, if you guys remember that. Okay, let's go. I feel like that was crazy loud. We're gonna get our makeshift knife. Even though I could definitely kick open that box easy. Oh, okay, for real? We're about to die. We have to kill it. That's so sad. I would not ever wanna kill anything. It would make me sad even if it was for my own survival. I would have to like take a minute. That had to be that frog. I need to find something to sharpen it. Okay. Salvage. So we need to find that box again. We'll take this. I can use this. Still need more though. Okay. Oh, we got a challenge tomb. Heck yeah, we could definitely do that when we're done salvaging our exactly what I was looking for. Just our stuff. Yeah, let's get a little bit more. I think there was one over here, wasn't there? Let me know if you guys want me to do the challenge tomb. Say yes in the in the chat if you want me to do the the challenge tomb. Got everything I need. Should head back to camp. Okay. Uh, David, you said yes. Okay, I will do it. Hopefully we have everything we need for the challenge tomb. I think we will. Let's make that knife, baby. And we have our cool outfits. Check it out. This is a pretty cool one. I think this is the one from... Oh, This is the one from... Uh, possibly Rise of the Tomb Raider. I like this outfit. This is what she was wearing, I believe. And this is what she looked like in the 2013 reboot. What else we got? 
that's like her wearing a jacket oh this one this one's so good this is like a commando outfit this one's very cool we might wear that one i like that one uh oh my gosh uh you said beep hello 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 this is a good one too this is like a black tank top I forgot that I had all of these cool outfits for this game. This is from the DLC. Um, <laughs> we gotta look at all of them. I gotta show you all of them. This is her city outfit. I don't think you would wear this in the jungle. You know what I mean? They're all right, but they're not my favorite. And then this is like from the original. This is from Tomb Raider 2. It says teal tank and brown short. Oh, wait, hold on. This is from Angel of Darkness. Teal tank and brown shorts, perfect for the dark alleys of Paris. This is from Tomb Raider 2. Teal tank and brown shorts, more nostalgic than functional. The bomber jacket from Tomb Raider 3. I'm pretty sure this is from Tomb Raider 3. That's so funny. This is the tunic of the exiled fox. I like this one a lot, too. Um, you said beep, beep, boop, boop, boop. What's this game you're playing? OK, so this game is uh, it's Shadow of the Tomb Raider. It is a good game. It is the last of the most recent Tomb Raider games to come out. And I've got to pick out what I want to wear. I like this one a lot. This one's called the Scales of Q. Um, this is what she wore, pretty much basic. This is a cool one. This is a Midnight Sentinel outfit. This one's pretty good, too. It's called Reptile Hide. Oh my gosh, this is her workout outfit. I love this so much. Okay, so we don't get any benefits from that, but I really like it. We might do that one. Let's go back to the one with the Commando outfit. That's my favorite. And I don't think it looks too hot for this uh, jungle area. So let's do this one. We're going to equip it. Uh, no, this one. Yeah, there we go. That one. Okay, we have a cool outfit on. We've got our knife. That should be By the way, enough. welcome to the stream. Have you been here before? Are you new or are you returning? All right, so let's uh, let's do that challenge tomb. David said we should do it, so I think it was this way. Let's go this way. Explore to find the entrance. You said new here. Very cool. Very cool. That cane toad is begging to die, but we don't have the skill required to get it yet. We're about to go raid a tomb. Oh, I'm like up in it. I did not realize what I was supposed to do for a second. Oh, I don't have my tools. I can't, I can't do this yet until I get my tools. So we have to go back. I'm dumb. I am so dumb. Um, so you said that you're new here. What brings you in? We are gonna unhook this rope right here. And I've got to figure out what my hair is doing. It's like so bad right now. This is gonna Something's drive me crazy. Still the supplies up. I don't know why it's driving me crazy, but it is. It's just like curly and it just looks weird. Okay. So our supplies need to come down a little bit further. And then we'll have our tools to be able to uh Oh, we gotta go over there. Then we'll be able to get our tools to go to the challenge tomb. We gotta get our supplies. Um, say that again. Uh, I said, what brings you in? So, like, what made you decide to stop in? Was it the game? Or was it possibly, like, the name of the channel? Like, the cozy gaming thing? Yes. Now I can get my gear back. Oh, yeah. Let's go get it. Let's go get it, Lara. Let's jump. <laughs> Did that so easily. Look at that bow! It's fantastic. Why didn't I pack all my equipment together? Yeah, I want to know also. Why didn't you? Miss Croft? Miss Croft? Come in. Miguel? 
Where got are interesting. You? Okay, cool. Damn. Well, we are gonna go do the challenge tomb. Even though Miguel is probably dying, let's go do the challenge tomb first. <laughs> Oh my god. Okay, wait, there's there's treasure over there. We'll have to remember that. It's this way. Let's do it. Also, let's harvest something from this dead animal. Maybe bones. There's that cane toad. He's just threatening us by staring at us. All right, so now that we have our tools, what? Can I really not get in there? Okay, guys, we have to come back to the challenge tomb later. I don't have all of my equipment, so we're just gonna go save Miguel's life, I hope. Let's go deal with that nonsense. Where's my objective? Okay, it's over there where the diamond is. I'm gonna ignore all the critters that they probably want us to hunt down. And we're gonna go over here. Um, you said, gotta go. You were coming to say hi. Okay, gotcha. Well, if you enjoy, make sure to like the stream and subscribe if you want to see more. So we gotta get over there, but we need to be able to attach it to something. Right? I hope you have a good day, by the way. Here's where we need to be. Okay. Okay. We're gonna jump on. Jump on it, jump on it. This is wild. Can you guys imagine doing this? All right. We're gonna go find Miguel. Miguel? I don't like this. Miguel! Miguel? Where are, Where you? are you? Miguel, no! Where's Miguel? 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 We see blood. That's not good. Not good. I'm gonna follow the blood. Miguel? Ooh. Cut scene. Ugh. She looks awesome in her tactical gear. Uh-oh. Not what you want to see when you're trying to find your friend. Ooh, we're hearing something. <gasps> no, Miguel! Yeah, sorry guys. This game is a little bit gruesome. I should have probably put like a gore warning. And her life has just gotten much more dangerous because these are jungle cats and they are probably uh, the most dangerous threat to humans in this area of the world. She's like, well, I'm going to fight you anyways. Lara does not back down from a fight no matter what. The fact that it didn't bite her face off is incredible. She's covered in mud. Holy shit. Yeah, right? Make it through the Jaguar's territory. I feel like we're being stalked. There's the monkeys. Got to be careful here. This is bad. Okay, okay, do you see it? It took off. Defeat the Jaguars is our next objective. Oh! That's it. This is bad. Oh, God! No, 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 no! You see that? 
No, 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 no. Oh god, I will die. I will die. Ma'am. It's not working very well, ma'am. Okay, didn't want me to shoot at that time. Ma'am! Oh, no, 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 no. Oh my god, it pounced. That was so cute. I know it's not supposed to be cute, but it was. What am I supposed to be doing? <laughs> Please. Oh my god. Oh god. Oh god, oh god, oh god. Oh, I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die. Um... This is hard to do because I'm not very good dexterity-wise. It's so sad. <sighs> it could, it would kill her. It would kill her. The fact that it's not. I feel like is a like a threat. Like I'll be back. That is so freaking sad. That is so sad. But that cat got in her face and it was like, I'll be back. This is not the last of me. I guess you have to do what you have to do to survive, right? That was awful. Upgrade skills at the base camps. Okay, yeah, we're gonna need that health. We're not doing so hot. Okay, we made it through the Jaguar's Den. And now we have to move on let's see where we get to next we found miguel and he is not doing well he got hurt he was half eaten by a jaguar let's see what this is uh i can't really tell Oh, I guess it's like a bandage, possibly, like some kind of cloth. And we'll go ahead and take this health as well. And then I think we can climb out of here just barely. What did you guys think about that? That was pretty wild, wasn't it? Wait, what am I doing? Why can't I get out? Can you let me out? Why can't I jump? Why can't I jump? So I'm down here for some other reason, I guess. Maybe I need that little health bush over there. There's really no way to know. Let's see if that maybe recovers us enough. Can I heal myself in any kind of way? What's our objective? Is there a way to craft that I can't remember how to do? No. That's all we know how to do is make arrows. Oh, there's that. You would think H would be like maybe healing. Yeah, I don't know why I can't get up there, but I can't jump. Hmm. 
Hmm. What am I supposed to be doing? Have I not already shaken this tree multiple times now? I'm missing something. Huh. Let's see. Let's look at the controls. Craft. Hmm. Just making all these arrows. Sorry, guys. I know that this is super exciting, but I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing here. There is a button for healing, I thought. Hmm. What do I do? That's a fire arrow. Okay, let's reload the checkpoint. I don't want to have to fight the jaguars again, but I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing. I feel like this game is just messed up. Find Jonah. Upgrade skills at base camp. But I, am I using the stuff that I'm picking up? This is why I remember this spot so much, is because I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing. Do we not have all of our equipment still? Health and... Okay, we're gonna... I'm gonna have to look. I'm gonna have to look it up. Um... I hate that. This might be one of those things where I have to connect my controller again because for some reason it's just not working the way it's supposed to. So let's go ahead and connect it. This game does have some issues, evidently. Let's see if this works. Nope. That helped me. Whatever that did helped me. I don't know how I did it, but it helped me craft a healing kit. 
so this game might have to be one of those games I play with the controller, which kind of sucks because I'm not very good with it anymore. That was so annoying. I hate when that happens. The wreckage. Jonah! Jonah! Oop. Yeah, see, I'm like hitting the wrong buttons. Cane toad. We've got some salvage over here. And then I feel like there's also something over here. How do we do our survival instincts? Um... Okay, that's how we're gonna do it. This area is so pretty. We got some supplies and another... So there are journals too, but I just don't feel like listening to them right now. Where are we supposed to go? Over there? Oh, up here. So the direction that I'm going in is where I need to be going. Oops. Here we go. We get that. She makes this look so easy. These flowers are super pretty. Jonah, are you there? Jonah! This is our plane. This is what we wrecked in. Cutscene. My hatchet. I mean, my hook thingy. I don't know what it's called. He's dead. He didn't make it. He got eaten by jaguars. After he fell from the plane, he What's got eaten by on? jaguars. It's a terrible uh, way to go. Sort of Ew! I was looking for some wormwood, but it doesn't grow around here. Let me see. <laughs> what are you doing? If we leave it in there alone and get worse. Sit. She's like, let me just cut it out, Laura. I mean, Jonah. You sure you know what you're doing? Yes. Uh, <laughs> I had something similar happen to me when I was a child in Egypt. I won't lie, it's gonna hurt. You think that storm from earlier was the storm? The one from the mural? I don't know. Uh, uh, I think maybe we should stop and take stock. We've been pushing so hard forward. <laughs> Flying into that storm. I didn't think it was going to be that bad. I... Well, I should have insisted we turn back. I mean, I get it. You lock onto a problem and everything else just disappears. <laughs> Do you see where the story's going here? I, I... I'm with you. It's my choice. Most of the time. But if we die, who stops the cataclysms? Who keeps Trinity from doing what they want? Mm -hmm. They need more detail in his eyes. I feel like they did not give him that much detail, and it's sad. Sometimes I feel like I have to keep going, and if I don't, then I'll just let everyone down. But maybe for the sake of a few hours, we could have turned back. Yeah. Miguel wouldn't be dead. <laughs> Look at it. <laughs> Maybe we should give him a name. Okay. Eli? No, my cousin. He's always trying to get under my skin. Oh, Jonah. <laughs> Goodbye, Eli. Ew, she squished him. Okay, so the cool thing about that is if you get a parasite, um, you have to be, like, really careful about how you get it out because if you tug on it too Thanks. hard, it could break. 
And what they go. used to do. If we can find oh, Spock, let's let her keep talking. The rest of the night. True. Sounds good. All right, so uh, we're probably going to take a break here. Um, what they used to do, I like they would have. The village through the vines over there. Bro, I'm trying to talk. Oh, I just skittered after him. Well, if you... <laughs> I just skittered after him. Um, okay, so we're going to pause the game here, but I got to tell you about this because this is really cool. So back in the day, people used to get these parasites that would, um, they were like these weird worms, kind of like what Jonah just had in his arm, but people would get them a lot in their legs. And when you cut into the skin and try and pull them out, they would snap. And then the part that was like deeper inside the leg was probably like the mouth and it would stay latched on. So what they would have to do is they would have to do an incision and then would, they would take like a stick and they would take the parasite and start like wrapping it around the stick. And every couple of days they would turn the stick a little bit more so it was like a really slow process but that's how they would like get the parasite out of your arm or your leg or whatever it was um it would just be like a gradual extraction rather than um like just trying to cut it out and it was probably really painful but that is just how they did it so Okay, uh, anyways, that weird story aside, I think that this is where I want to call the stream. We've been streaming for almost 2 hours and 20 minutes. I have really enjoyed playing this game again, and I hope that you guys have liked it well as well. I am sorry about the gore level and the language. This game is definitely not necessarily a cozy game, but I feel like it is one of my favorite games most favorite games of all time so we'll definitely come back to this one as well this week i plan on attempting to stream a little bit more and kind of get back into the swing of things so i'll let you guys know just kind of what i have going on um it's it's not going to be like it was before where i have like a really strict stream schedule it's just going to be like popping in here and the, there so make sure if you like this screen this screen if you liked this stream please give it a like and also subscribe if you aren't already so that you can get the notifications when i am streaming anyways i hope that you guys have a great day a wonderful week and stay cozy